Yo, so I'm sitting outside of um, Dove Coat. Uh, great little cafe over on the west side where we, um, you know, we party with our people. And uh, I'm going to make this video because my sister just texted me. She was like, yo, she obviously is going through something. Here, but, you know, I never want to know the details, you know, because people just want to know all the details of your life um, before they're going to help you. They're not really helping you, right? Just pay attention to that. That's, that's one thing. Um, but really, I never want to know the details because the details are not what matters. What matters is the underlying principles, right? If it's a problem, that means the underlying principle is being violated, okay? So oftentimes, we lump things and connect things together, right, that don't belong together. So in this context, we're going to talk briefly about marriage. Marriage is a contract, a legal contract. That means it's business. And you get into marriage for a couple reasons, right? First one is to have children, right? That's like the main reason you get into marriage, to make children with a person who promises to help you raise the children. That's the first and biggest reason you get married, right? Now, in this society, that's human, like, worldwide globally, right? Now, in this particular society, they got other reasons why you should get married, right? So you pull your resources, right? Um, you have more stable work, uh, employment opportunities, and uh, when people know you have a family, they tend to trust you a little bit more. So that's a secondary thing. It's a social status of being married, right? Um, and then there's this other piece of, you know, well, the social status is one thing, and then the um, economic piece and pulling your resources with somebody, right, in a legal way. And you receive tax breaks and you receive um, other types of breaks because you marry your insurance is cheaper, all kinds of benefits that married people have. Um, and then there's this intimacy piece. So you want to have somebody that's that's around you every day who is invested in your mental and spiritual well-being, who you can confide in and who you can get wise counsel from. Right. And run all your ideas by. And you don't have to worry about them um, shooting your ideas down or, or judging you. Somebody that you can completely open up to. So that's an intimacy piece. Right. Which is very important. And um, so those are all of the big things. Right. And then there's a sexual piece. Right. So a lot of times, you know, monogamy is a thing that will drive us into marriage. And that's cool as one thing to drive us into marriage, but it can't be the only thing, family. And we have to realize that monogamy is not mandatory. It's an option. It's one component. Okay? Get your mind right. Get your shit together. All of these things are not mandatorily connected when you talk about marriage. Get it together, folks.